Welcome to ASCII Fundamentals, where we learn about how to build asynchronous Python web applications from the ground up. Today, we're talking about the difference between application callables and application classes. The ASCII standard defines an application as nothing more than a single asynchronous callable that takes three parameters, a scope dictionary that tells you information about the current connection, and receive and send functions that are asynchronous functions that allow you to send messages to a client and receive messages from the client of the current connection. However, when you define an application using any of the big ASCII frameworks like Starlet or FastAPI, you don't see this application callable. Instead, you typically define an application as an instance of some class, like in this case we define our app as an instance of the FastAPI class. So are these big frameworks lying about supporting the ASCII specification? Well, no, of course not. They actually are defining asynchronous callables, you just might not have seen it. In order to make instances of a class callable, we define a dunder call method. So let's see if FastAPI has a dunder call method. It took a bit of scrolling, but we found it. Inside the source of FastAPI in the FastAPI class, we find a dunder call function, and it's an async def function. And what do you know? It takes a scope, a receive, and a send. So actually, instances of the FastAPI class are asynchronous callables. And the same thing goes for instances of Starlet applications. There are also asynchronous callables. And the same thing goes for middleware and responses and routers. Many of these objects are ASCII applications, even if it's not apparent when you first look at them. As far as the ASCII spec is concerned, your asynchronous callable application doesn't need to be a literal async def function. Any asynchronous callable will do to include instances of a class that has an async def dunder call. If I create an app that's an instance of this app class, then the call method of that instance will have its self parameter bound so it will act just like the app up here, where it will have just three parameters scope, receive, and send. Copy paste the body from above, and these two are functionally equivalent. But the real question isn't whether you can have your application be an instance of some app class, but why you would want to do this. In this simple example, it looks like defining a function would have been the better way to go since there's less typing and less steps involved. But for most real applications, you'll probably want to stick to this application class pattern. And the reasons for doing that are basically the same as the reasons for defining any other class. Classes are places that you can hold state in, and they can be useful for maintaining invariance. When I define an application, there's going to be a lot of different things that I want to be able to configure. Everything from roots, to middleware, to startup events, to exception handling. I've got to hold all that information somewhere, so let's put it in a class instead of using global variables. You may still use global variables for things like your logging configuration or other truly global objects. But anything that's really specific to a single instance of an application, you should really be storing inside that application object, particularly because you might have more than one application object during the same run. This could be because you're literally running two ASCII applications at the same time, or because you might have sub-applications, like one application is mounted at slash API and the other is mounted at the root, or you may be constructing many applications because you want your tests or test modules to be independent of each other, so you construct a new application for each one. Hope this helps, thanks for watching. I'm James Murphy, and I want to thank my patrons and donors for supporting the channel. You can also check out my software consulting company at mcoding.io.